I have that way he doesn't even. I don't even her. know about it. My son knows about it. My mother-in-law yeah. knows about it. Everybody knows about it, but me. So this is, and my son, I couldn't bribe him. Your wife, Mila, uh, actually went online and ordered something for you. These are delivered to the spouses who are holding down the fort on their anniversary. Yeah, I'm, I'm the army wife. <laughs> Well, I think that's a wonderful thing. She said, thanks for all your support and for believing in me. I love you very much and look forward to spending the rest of our lives together. That sounds like my wife. <laughs> and she says, Tony has been so supportive of my choice to serve in the Army and once again will be holding down the fort while I deploy to UAE in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. We have been married for 16 amazing years, and I continue to love him more than ever. Here's the image there. Ah, that's what was last year. We took that right across the street last year. <laughs> oh, right was, across the street? Yeah. This was her, uh, her ball, her army ball we went to. Wow. So it was almost a year ago when the army ball was, too. Oh, my gosh. I just think it's an awesome image. And... Um, she says about the photo, we're all dressed up, ready to go to the St. Barbara's Day Ball at our newest duty station, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Yep, she loves this photo. She shows this photo to everybody. This photo was, like I said, it was last year. We are getting ready to go to her, uh, her, her Army Ball. Uh, I was supposed to go do some training with uh, Robin Sage, and I gave that up to support my wife because she has supported me over the years of my... Uh, all my activities and my stuff that I've done, I do a lot of contracting for Uncle Sam. So she's supported me in all my jobs and I've had to be out of town and everything. So she wanted to do this and go back into the Army and I support her and I'm very happy. When uh, I first met my wife, I was on the board of directors of Down Syndrome Organization in Nevada. And then uh, our second child ha ended up having a uh, chromosome deletion problem. And so then all of my buddies that were on the board of directors, all the doctors, became our good friends of mine, now became her doctor. <laughs> we met, believe it or not, from my ex fiance introduced us. Wow. Ever since then, we've been together 17 years ago. So you have how many children? Uh, believe it or not, I have one living, two have passed away. Oh, okay. Which is Valerie and Maddie. Still I'm putting pictures up, this is Valerie. <laughs> Oh, she's precious. And she's the one that had the uh, chromosome problem. You can't see it, but she actually has tubes and everything coming. She was 14 months when she passed away. And But you had already served on the board of... Down syndrome. Before she was born? Yeah, before Nathaniel was even born. Because Nathaniel was our first. And then she was our second. And then we actually adopted Maddie. Lo and behold, the first person we get to foster is Maddie. And Matt and Mayla fell in love with her instantly. So we ended up adopting uh, Maddie, and we were still fostering, and we were, we did a medically fragile because Mela actually had a paramedics license, a national paramedics license at the time, and so we were always doing the p kids they didn't want. You know, no one wanted the medical fragile kids, and we did. You know, we had kids with AIDS, the whole nine yards. We just took we didn't, it didn't bother us. We just took them. We took care. We had one that was shaken syndrome and passed away, and we had another one. When the day she actually passed away, the state nurse was at our house because Mela had to learn the basic on a trach, which she already knew, but just standard procedure for the state, she had to do it. And the babysitter was actually watching Maddie and the kids and was too busy playing on the computer. And Maddie unlocked the back door mm -hmm. and fell in the jacuzzi and the lid fell on her and drowned. Mm -hmm. It's been, what, eight and nine years they've been both gone now? Almost ten years wow. that they've been gone? Wow. So now we got just Nathaniel and he's as tall as I am now. Nathaniel is a straight A and B student, honors classes. He's in the ROTC. He uh, just competed in his first what they call Raiders, because you know the Army has Rangers. Well, ROTC has what they call Raiders, and they do basically the same thing in the agility, agilities, you know, the running, navigation, all that. And he had his first competition, and he's just been a, a happy kid and just enjoying it. So this house is just full of pictures of uh, babies and children that yep. have been parts of your life for a long time. Yeah, or she short still has, she time. still, believe it or not, she still has every file out in the garage in a filing cabinet of every kid we've ever had. So, like 74 kids that we took care of, you know, between AIDS, uh, diabetics, uh, shake, uh, shaken, syndrome, uh, shaken baby syndrome, uh, you just name it, drug. Like, Maddie was actually, uh, 
when she was born, she was hooked on, what was it, heroin, I think it was, and pot. Because she came to, she was red hair, real white oxygen tube, you know, had a little oxygen tube and all that, and that was done probably within a month of us having her, that was gone, and she was just a character in a little half. She was daddy's little girl. That, you know, I mean, she's had her, her troubles. I mean, the deaths of our daughters and all that have really weighed heavy on her. I mean, she babies our son. I mean, if he has a hiccup, she worries. I mean, everything, because that's all we got now. She worries, well, he might have cancer. He might have this. You know, I mean, she really worries. And I do, too. But, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's had her toll on her. I mean, she's... Nathaniel over there. That's Nathaniel. And uh, there's one picture of Valerie and Mela. This is Valerie and Mela. And the rest are all Nathaniel. That's our daughter, the, one, the first one that passed away. Okay. Um, and that's Mela and Val. And like I said, the rest are Nathaniel, our son. You guys are made for each other. Yeah. We're, we do, uh, you're quite the pair. Wow. Um, a, a question. When all those, like, 70-some kids all together, were both of you at home at the time no. you were doing that? No, I worked, uh, I worked for a good friend of mine, uh, his conveyor company, and I also worked for Southwest Airlines for quite a few years, uh, just doing maintenance on conveyor systems throughout through the country. I mean, you know, like all the fancy Wazoo systems now that the luggage goes to at the airport, I help build all that stuff and then put it in, install it and everything. So she was holding down that for yeah, the long I was gone a lot. I was actually, when our daughter Maddie actually was dr when drowned, I was actually on my way back in from out of town. Uh, uh, well, with all the ups and downs, I mean, it sounds like you guys just jump in. All you, you want to just live life to the fullest. Yeah, I do. And run the risks. You only live once? Yeah. It's like, you know, she always, what are you doing? I go, well, my whole life right now for the next year is Nathaniel, my son. And everybody asks me because I've also actually had a chance to go to the same, go to the Goodyear plant, put an application in there. But the schedule there doesn't work with my schedule with my son. And everybody's like, "Well, what are you going?" So I'd rather go flip burgers if I have to for five, seven dollars an hour, so I can make sure my son is taken care of. But it's like you know, I mean, my uh, my training with 3TM is a a famous ranger. His name's Howard Maxwell, and that's actually his action figure up there. He's a guy that rewrote the Rangers' handbook, combat hand-to-hand -hand combat book, and. Uh, most of the guys out of the Delta compound know him real well because uh, he's taught most of those guys are hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's a good friend of ours, and he supports us and helps us. And he, I mean, He's actually one I'm going to go do the training with for the marshals with, the, with his company. So if there's one important thing he's taught you, what, what is it? Never give up. Fight through everything. Just never give up. Keep fighting, and I won't.